Hey, it's Jeffrey Howells Carpet Cleaning here, and we're doing ourselves some deluxe carpet care today. So let's take a quick walk through what we're going to be cleaning. Obviously, it's going to be this front room area. And family room. Probably a closet. Let's take a quick look. Ooh, it's kid safe. I gotta be smarter than the door. So it goes back a little ways and probably wraps around. Closet. Um, this may have been the master bedroom, possibly. Looks like there's a bed here, so probably. Got ourselves a hallway. Third bedroom. And a closet. Blending, blending closet. And we got ourselves a fourth bedroom in a closet and a fifth bedroom in a closet and a bit of debris on the carpet so um, very crucial that we go through and we do a really good heavy pre-vacuum with our Kirby vacuum cleaner just to get as much debris up out of the carpeting as possible and that's what uh, makes our cleaning so very thorough and everything is just getting all that debris out of the carpet along with the debris that's visible sitting on top. I'm probably going to pick up wire paper clips, things like that, because that is the kind of stuff that damages equipment when you're running and picking this stuff up in your vacuum cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a really good pre-vacuum. We're going to be doing a deluxe carpet care cleaning job in this place today. All right, so having just completed our pre-vacuum with our deluxe carpet cleaning that we're doing here today, I examined the bag and accidentally ripped it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. But it is completely full. One, one house going through, boom, boom, boom. Picking up all that debris, the dust, everything else that's in the carpet's completely full. So just imagine what happens with uh, a truck-mounted steam cleaning when you don't pull that stuff out of the carpets. Um... Yeah, you can rely on those powerful blower to suck all that debris out of there, but really you're just turning it to mud, and how much of it are you really rinsing out? I mean, you see how fast some of these guys go when they're when they're uh, doing a marathon over your carpets to get them clean. Yeah, sure, they might be drying, you know, an hour, but if you've got mud and stuff that's still in your carpet, you know, I would think that that's probably a bit more critical than uh, the inconvenience of having wet carpet or you know even paying a little bit extra for a premium carpet care that you know thoroughly goes through and cleans out absolutely everything because I have to tell you I can speed through and I can get a place clean in you know 45 minutes to an hour hour and a half or so but in order to go through and do a completely thorough thorough job of every single room and getting matted hair and all that debris up out of the carpet you're, you're looking more like three to four hours just to be extremely thorough so um, a three hour job four hour job is you know two to three times the depth of what your average carpet cleaner does in your place so uh, yeah take all these things into consideration when you're looking for professional carpet cleaning figure out what they actually do how much debris they're actually getting out of the carpet how they're getting it out of your carpets you know, all this, you know, because a, a carpet cleaner who can't explain why or what they're doing is not the type of carpet cleaner that you want to be hiring to be doing any cleaning whatsoever. Alright, so these are all the products that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using uh, Commercial Magic 
and the, the detonator by back away and we're also going to be using this master blend soap free solution um, so what we have here is the commercial magic is like a high pH it's really good on synthetic carpets and I'll show you the kind of areas that we put this on we don't put it on everything we just use it on very few select areas namely traffic areas and stuff like that um, the peroxide and the soap free the soap free is more or less a uh, blend of sodium carbonate which is like a, a uh, a cleaning grade baking soda for the most part with some other pri proprietary ingredients that are in here carbonated gluten free odor free and all that stuff and it's free rinsing so as far as a basic cleaner it works very very well especially when it's coupled with the uh, the detonator peroxide product um, you know, the detonator is a 15 to 20 percent peroxide it does absolutely amazing work as far as sterilizing and doing all that um, when you're dealing with coffee stains urine stains any of that sort of stuff the peroxide just gets in there and eats that stuff up um, it basically does exactly the same thing that an enzyme cleaner would do except that it's coming at it from a chemical approach as opposed to a, a live enzyme approach so you kind of have to be even though they do basically the exact same thing have the exact same results you have to be uh, I'm conscientious of the, the the customer as to whether or not they have are sensitive to chemicals or anything like that. It is safe for small kids and animals and all that, but you just have to make sure that you know that they're okay with it. Um, for the most part, I haven't had a customer that has had any reactions or any issues with it whatsoever. So, you know, I've been doing this for for years and years and years. I've probably been taking this approach. For a couple years, as far as these two products, I continue to do uh, my testing and stress, you know, stress testing of different products to figure out which blends and things work the best. But this right here seems to be a pretty good blend at the moment that I've been um, pretty happy with. So I've gone through a few cases of the soap free and the detonator, and I'm currently looking at another product, but. Uh, Right now, coupled together, this is a very, very good green um, cleaning approach that gets out all the, the urine and nasty and uh, odors and all that sort of stuff. So it works very good. And so we'll go ahead and go on inside and I'm going to show you a little bit of where I'm going to be planning on doing the commercial magic as opposed to the soap-free detonator product. Okay, and, and this area here does not look bad at all. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but after our initial vacuum, it looks much, much better. But this typically here is where a couch was, and this is where you typically want to use, like, your commercial magic, because along the, the feet of the couch is usually really bad. But in here, it's very, looks really nice. It looks like they had a uh, area rug, obviously, set up in here, so that took all the brunt. Um, obviously right here is a little bit of a traffic area coming in from outside so we may hit up a little bit of commercial magic coming through here just to uh, get in that stairway you can see is dark we'll probably hit up a little bit of commercial magic there and it and this may have been an animal stand I know that there was a dog in here um, I don't know if it peed on the carpet much at all I'm just guessing that this is going to be urine so I'm going to lay down the sodium carbonate and peroxide a little bit heavy here but I'm probably also going to put down um, sodium carbonate just to get up some of this nasty stuff that's down here whatever it is um, just a moment I'll go ahead well let's check this other room here see what kind of traffic area since it is right off the front door this here doesn't look like there's much of any traffic so I think we're just going to treat this with the sodium carbonate and peroxide and there shouldn't be an issue I'm not sure what that is if it's touch up paint or grease or, or what it is we'll just clean it and play it by ear as we go along looks like there might be a couple little rough spots here um, I'll go ahead and uh, pre-treat that for rust right at the moment or in just a minute to see how that works and I'll catch you guys upstairs in just a second here all right, and so another area of concern is usually in the uh, master bedroom around the bed, but in here it looks absolutely beautiful. 
they probably had other runners and things in here so very light on the carpet we're, we're going to use a sodium carbonate peroxide looks like the same in here I don't see any wear on the bed or anything the hallway looks very light um, bedroom here sodium carbonate peroxide we're just going through and doing a quick assessment as to what products we're going to need in here don't know what that yellowing is hopefully it just rinses out but we're looking at sodium carbonate and peroxide and so it looks like the entire place we can use sodium carbonate and peroxide however when it comes to the stairs i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use up is you know our commercial magic on the stairways um it may or may not you it doesn't even i think it would even require it but stairways are generally the the most difficult for the homeowner to keep clean and they the ones that usually pick up the most debris and everything and they also are make the biggest impressions in the house when you have a clean stairway coming in it makes everything else just you know not stand out quite as much even though everything else will look absolutely awesome if the stairways look awesome then everything else looks awesomer if that's a word but anyways deluxe 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 premium 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 we're going in there and we're hitting this place hard with an awesome carpet cleaning you guys all right so just back pedaling just a little bit to uh you know, kind of t describe what we're doing today. We're coming at this at a three-stage or three-phase approach. Um, the, the first phase was our pre-vacuum, which we've already accomplished, and um, the second phase is putting down our the application of our pre-spray, and then mechanically agitating it with the CRB. Now, um, the CRB here, um, there are at the time that I bought this, they were fairly new on the market, so this. The market wasn't quite saturated with them. There weren't really any used ones available to purchase. So, you know, I had paid full price. And I think it was like close to three grand or something. And, and it's probably one of the most versatile tools that I have because you can see those brushes on there. You put down your pre-spray out on the carpet and then this guy just goes over and scrubs it into the floors. Now, there are collection reservoirs that go on the front and the back of this particular machine so as it's going along as you can see it's uplifting on the carpet fibers and it also pulls out matted hair so if there was an animal in here it's going to pull all the hair up out of the carpeting as well whereas a vacuum cleaner generally doesn't do a very good job of pulling up uh animal hair depending on the type of vacuum cleaner that you have so this is kind of my go-to to uh get the uh Matted animal hair, matted hair in general, people with, you know, long hair, hair that comes off easily or whatever, this will pull that, that nasty hair right on out of the carpet. And, um, yeah, so when it comes to carpet cleaning, you got a few options. You got your do-it-yourself option with the, uh, with the rug doctor rental or whatever. I mean, that's a, it's like a, I think you can buy a brand new rug doctor for your own use. Um, I think they're like 750 bucks or something, something like that. Um, this machine alone, which is phase three of our cleaning process, is three grand. So, um, compare three grand and the uh, thoroughness of the cleaning that we're doing compared to a $750 um, rug doctor. And the only reason I pull that out is because customers are constantly trying to compare what you're doing professionally with professional expensive equipment and equating it to a $49 rug doctor rental and you know you the two pieces of equipment can't even be compared because they're two completely different pieces of equipment so um with that said just you know you sometimes you can reason with some people and sometimes you can't and that's not really my job. My job is just to go through and do a deluxe premium carpet cleaning. 
Okay, for you guys working with a sprayer, um, not everybody does, but some of you guys do, I always start out by priming the pump by just putting it pre-spray directly back into the bottle until I can hear that pump going. Now I know it's ready to spray. Okay, with that two gallon jug of sodium carbonate and peroxide, we were able to lay down four bedrooms, four of the five rooms. Uh, basically, I just went through until the whole thing was, you know, pretty much used up. So four bedrooms are pre-sprayed. Now we're going to go through, and that was phase two, part A, was the uh, application with the sprayer and our cleaning product on the carpet. Now this is the part B of a soil suspension process is that we go through now with this machine here, we put our collection reservoir on the back so that it, it picks up anything up out of the carpet, it'll just throw it into those trays. And that uh, cleaning solution that's down on the carpet there, it's just gonna work it all in and give it a good scrub, just like um, you're scrubbing dishes in the sink, you know, it loosens all the debris up off the pots and pans and then you just rinse it off with some uh, you know, some water, dip it in a, your wash bowl or whatever, whatever you're washing your dishes at. And the same analogy applies to the uh, truck mounted steam cleaning as well as um, after we do this mechanical agitation using their uh, cylindrical brush machine or CRB, which it is known by for short, um, that allows us to use less water with the steam cleaning process. So that actually allows you to, uh, or allows the carpets to dry quicker. And that usually is the one thing that most people are concerned about. Hey, carpets dry in an hour. But how are they going about cleaning your carpets to get them to dry in an hour? Um, this here, we're, we're uh, trading agitation for mechanical agitation for uh, the amounts of water that we're using to rinse and turning the pressure down on the truck. So what we're doing is we're taking the equation that's required for carpet cleaning and we're just kind of rebalancing things by using some other tools, some other means of agitation, some other means that are much more thorough than the average, you know, Joe that's out there carpet cleaning. And it just helps all around to do a far better, more superior, premium style job. So that's what we're doing here. And a big gray spot we had in the front room, our formal front room area, you can see that our pre-spray sodium carbonate and peroxide greatly reduced a lot of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over it with our CRB and kind of see what our product is able to do as far as getting that stuff and annihilating that spot. Okay, the machine is engaged. We're going to go ahead and run over it. We'll probably come at it at quite a few different directions just to make sure it's thoroughly brushed and groomed with our uh, CRB here. But as you can see, uh, it's just disappearing, disappearing, disappearing. So I have no doubt that just give it a little bit more dwell time. I'm sure it's going to disappear completely. Plus, we haven't even gone through with our extraction yet. So that's going to um, cause more rinsing and agitation to occur and get even more of that out. Um, right now, I just see a little bit of discoloration, but I think it'll turn out absolutely beautiful. Now, when it comes to doing stairways, we take the exact same three-phase approach on stairways as we do the rest of the house. We go ahead and we pre-vacuum the stairways using our, our vacuum here. And as you can see, this canister is absolutely packed full from doing the stairways here. So that gets all that nasty debris and hair and dirt and anything else out of the stairways that we can. So we're not just turning it all into mud. And um, like I mentioned before, we're using our commercial magic on the stairway. So I got two gallons here. I'm going to go ahead and load it up in our sprayer. We are going to apply it liberally on the carpets there on the stairways. 
and then we have a nylon brush that we're going to go ahead and brush the stairs and that will be our means of agitation since we can't take a CRB on the stairways and that way it'll just help to loosen up any debris and residue that's in the carpet so that when we do go over with our steam cleaning it will lift all that stuff out of the carpet and it'll look just as clean as the rest of the house. All right, so the water is on its way up to 200 degrees. It's probably going to be about there by the time we get up there. We got our lines and everything running in. We got our plastic guards down here protecting wall corners from our equipment. Very important. And so, and we also have things anchored off up here. And what that does is it keeps us from fighting gravity, plus it, uh, I am missing a wall guard, so it is um, taking the stress off the wall there as well as far as hanging it in the right direction so that we're not scraping on anything. And then in here, we've got plenty of hose, so there isn't going to be any scraping here either. So we're going to go ahead and wall this, these guys out and move on to the next job. But before we move on to the next job, let's get this one done right so uh this is commencing phase three which is a steam cleaning process we're going to be using 230 plus degrees along with powerful blower 16 horse power um it's not huge compared to some but the owner operating it seems to do the trick so we're going to go ahead give us a, a wand out give everything a wand out and it's going to look absolutely beautiful by the time we're done All right, one thing I wanted to point out is you see how close those lines are. Now, a lot of guys will argue that they won't do a dry pass because it takes too long and the carpet is dry in an hour anyways. And that is not the purpose of a, an additional dry pass. The uh, purpose of, the, of having an additional dry pass, which is common sense, the longer your suction is down on the floor, obviously the more potential it has to be picking debris and not only moisture but the debris and other things like mud and hair and whatnot up out of the carpeting as well so to be to be, to be debating whether or not you should be doing a dry pass is really an argument against common sense so um, if you care about uh, premium carpet care or doing a quality cleaning job deluxe carpet cleaning then um, that additional dry pass is um, critically important and if you're just about doing care about doing a splash and dash and getting carpets wet and you know $99 carpet cleaning here and there then then a dry pass does not apply to you Although the high pH seemed to work everywhere else, the little urine spots there did not come out. <laughs> 